going on there, YouTube? So, I did a little work on the Intig camping trailer. Um, if you've seen the video I did last week, or a week or so ago, I've actually got a real trailer like this now with a tent, and I've built a rack, raised the tent up a little bit, and, uh, got me thinking about this one again. I haven't driven this truck in a while. So I pulled this trailer with my budget-built Trailfinder 2 with one of my oldest trail or Mojave bodies on it, my original one that used to be the pale blue color. And, uh, it's a great setup. Leaf sprung. Trailer's leaf sprung. Um, yeah, the trailer was kind of boring. I hated the color, but I I went to take it apart today, and I was going to paint it, and it just didn't... It's... Yeah. Man, I found it was missing a screw, and it's just... Not worth the trouble of taking it all the way apart. So I figured I would do some scale stuff to it and try to liven it up a little bit. Um, remember from the first video, I had those roto packs, the the uh, fuel tank, water tank, and uh, the blue potable water tank. Uh, those are from Proline, and I wanted to mount them on there, but I, I just wasn't ready to drill holes in it yet. But it's been long enough, and I forgot how much I paid for that now. I, I still remember, but right, I'll talk about that. <laughs> Uh, it's been long enough that I wasn't hurt when I had to drill some holes in it. And I mounted the roto packs on the doors. And the doors still open and everything. And uh, it really completed the look. If you remember back, I switched the rooftop tent cover. This had the green rooftop tent cover. And I switched it with the ARB one because the ARB tent is made of a lot thicker, almost a canvas material. And the other one's made of like parachute. You know, it's just super thin. And it was really hard to deal with that tent as thick as that fabric was on top of a vehicle, so I figured at least putting this, the thinner cover on it. Um, from what I can tell, from the bottom of it, take I took this one off, they are, they look the same, so I might be able to interchange them. I might be able to put the heavy ARB tent all together on this, but it doesn't fold out, you know, it needs to be used a little bit more before I make that decision. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look here close up at the front. Part of my plan was to try and hide the battery box thing. It's got a little battery box for 9 volt, or 6 volt, sorry. And uh, it's got a big on-off switch on top of it. Like, that was scale genius. So, um, I took the little, had the little hand thread things to mount shovels and stuff on the front. And I drilled some holes in my high lift jack. That's the functional high lift jack, at least it used to be. Um, yeah, I made it work, bolted it to the lower mounting point, both of them, and it's mounted nicely to the trailer, looks good. Uh, it's got a little bed roll up there, uh, drilled some holes, did a lot of stuff on this thing to completely ruin it. <laughs> but I, I used some two-sided tape to hold these on, because I'm, I'm not sure, I, I might utilize more of that space eventually. Um, I have a ton of scale camping stuff, coolers, grill, water tanks, the army bins, all the little things that RC Pro Drive makes I've got. And uh, yeah, might change that around, but I drilled one hole here. I've got a bungee cord going, holding the propane tank, another Proline accessory. And then I've run another bungee cord up here just to kind of hold that bed roll over the on off switch. Uh, I don't remember where this little shovel came from. It's a good size for up there. And I had some scale rope from 12 years ago. <laughs> I still have a, a whole roll of that stuff. I made a bunch of scale rope back when the uh, Tamiya High Lifts came out. <laughs> trying to make a scale truck out of those. But uh, yeah, I've still got a roll or two of that around. So I just put that around there and shoved it behind the jack. So just a little accessory. There's something else to add. Back, I made a lot of changes. Not a lot, but a big change. The spare tire had this big giant thing and it moved it way out off of the trailer. And it really put a lot of stress on the gate. The gate's only held in by one screw, one three millimeter screw. And then it locks in with this little tab on this end. So I drilled out the upper hole, the mounting hole for that, and just put some regular three mil hardware through, nut and washer on the outside, and got the, tra the tire right up against the trailer like my real trailer is. And uh, I think it looks a lot better. That backpack thing on there is supposed to look like a, like a trasheroo. If you've seen any of the overlanding guys, they all carry, they look like giant backpacks basically that go on your spare tire. And that's where you put your trash and stuff that you don't care gets dirty. You know, you can use them for storage or a lot, of, a lot of people just use it to pick up trash when they're on the trail and they just throw the trash bags back there so they don't have to smell it. And uh, but that is from a 1-6 scale G.I. Joe. I bought some of those a while ago. I was going to do try to do some kind of army build and it never happened. 
and I've got a whole bunch of different ones of these bags laying around and uh, yeah I thought that one looked about the right size for for that purpose so the gate still opens everything I did put a little Loctite on the screw to keep it from backing out um, I decided not to run the uh, canoe on top anymore I usually have that up there but it just there's no good way to attach it my bungee cords my scale bungee cord selection is getting abysmal they're wearing out and the ends are coming off I've had some of them as long as 12 years and uh, yeah I need to get some new ones but it, it has these little hooks here to try to hook them on so you can strap stuff down up top and it, it just wasn't secure. I was out on the trail with it and it was kind of sliding and it would start working its way back or forward on the trailer. And I, I wasn't really digging it. This side, uh, pretty much the same. Um, the ARB cover's a little dirty, but oh well. <laughs> the cover on my real rooftop tent is pretty, pretty filthy. Uh, I've got the water tank on this side. The door's still open. Everything works. I it, Yeah, don't look at those. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. I mean, it's just that cheap aluminum. Luckily, being the cheap aluminum made it easy to uh, drill through. But, um, yeah. I'm digging this thing. I, I really like this setup. This will be fun to take out the USTE on the scale trails. Um, if you haven't seen, check out the USTE's website. They have information about the class and other classes as well. There's going to be all kinds of stuff out there. And, uh, yeah. Look forward to seeing some of y'all out there. Anyway, guys, I'll keep this video short. Um, I know this overlanding stuff's not very, doesn't seem to be very popular on the channel, but uh, I like it. This will be a fun rig to uh, get out on the scale trails with. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and follow along on Instagram and Facebook for updates and things ahead of the videos. And uh, keep it scale. I'll see y'all in the next one. Mm -hmm.